the discovery of the white continent. Imagine a time many moons ago. Countries driven by national and personal prestige in attaining the Earth's poles. Territorial acquisition and scientific inquiry. Welcome to the early 1900s. By now no confirmed sightings of a seventh continent had been made. Even though the ancient Greeks had long proposed the existence of a southern landmass to balance the land north of the equator. One of the nations to seek the existence were the U.S. Not without a struggle, as ships were commissioned, built and refused until an ambitious lieutenant, Charles Wilkes was given command in 1838. Their mission, exploring waters in the extreme south to learn about weather, sea conditions, uncharted lands and scientific knowledge. A long and tiring journey lay ahead of the fleet. Down the coast of South America, into the Pacific Ocean, throughout the islands of Polynesia, and Australia. Heading south from Sydney, Wilkes observed a wall of ice. The previously unknown continent, Antarctica was confirmed. It was the southwestern corner of Antarctica, now known as Wilkes Land. Four years after setting sails the crew returned to America having achieved the mission. It was the first major voyage of exploration undertaken by the young nation. Wilkes returned with a great deal of scientific knowledge promoting American sailing ship's position. In a close race with the French and British about the existence, Wilkes was the first person to sight the last continent. This expedition's impact was beyond the American borders. It signaled an end to the age of discovery in regards to mankind's consistent urge of learning about the large details of our world. The most unique continent with no permanent borders or constant size was finally discovered. 